Hello and welcome to the One Giant Leap podcast with me, Jeff Shrimpton. And today my guest is Pam Featherstone, who is the coach to the coaches and the founder, co-founder with her son, Xander, of the Business Coaching Academy. Hi, Pam. Thanks for coming on board. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for inviting me along today. So today um, is different from my normal podcast in which I normally interview somebody because I want to know um, about their book or their expertise. But actually today, I want, there's a, something that I want to talk about. And rather than talk in a podcast to myself for half an hour, which I think I'd find quite difficult to do, Pam has um, volunteered to step in and uh, be my muse, as it were. So thank you for that, Pam. Very welcome, Jeff. So I'm curious to know, what is it that you want to talk about today? So I had this idea um, about a year ago, actually, uh, but it seemed a bit inappropriate to, leave, to, to launch it as we were going into a global pandemic. And I think it was definitely the right thing to do. So I've been sat, sat on it for about a year thinking about it, which is in some ways a benefit because I'm much clearer on where it is. But essentially, it's called the Half and Half Club, Pam. And it's a movement, uh, a mindset and um, a group of community and group of people, um, which initially will be centered around Facebook because that Facebook does the best communities, easiest to, 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 to inter in, interact with each other. Um, but of course, the, the method of delivery of Facebook is not important, really. It's about a community of people and it's a community of people who want to have a really fun life they're business owners they want to have a really fun life where they work three and a half days and have a three and a half day weekend and it came to me after a bank holiday weekend like the ones we've just had and i remember going god that was a great i, I loved having that three-day weekend that was brilliant and i just had that moment where i went why don't you do that every week <laughs> that would be great You're like why would you be a business owner and not uh, the whole point you take the risk and you go out and you set you you set your own th your own stall out so why not create something that's exactly as you want it so that's really where the the half and half club came from it's uh, sounds like a good plan well yeah well let me tell you what it's not though first because i think it's important to 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 know that so what it's not about is putting up making do with less so you don't have to work as much because then that buys into that fallacy that the amount you work equals the amount you get paid because that's kind of job time for money stuff. Um, so actually, the point of it is that you can have more, but just give less, less of your life in order to get that. Um, and it's not about being lazy either. So I, I know some people said, no, I really like working. So, well, actually, in the in the Thursday afternoon or the Friday that you free up, some people might have that to work on a sec second business. Some people might use that to work on an investment portfolio and might spend every Friday, every week flushing toilets and kicking, um, kicking skirting boards on, you know, on property investing, for example. So they might want to do that kind of thing as well. Or they might want to spend time with family or be, you know, be a great golfer. But it's so not it's about, about having school. less. Yeah, so it's, it's about, <laughs> and I guess you've got to have a more robust business to be able to do that and mm. get things in place. So I had a conversation with a new client the other day and I asked him to describe his perfect day at work. And he said, well, you know, I... I, I'm not too good in the morning, so I want to come in about 10 o'clock. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll just see if, who needs me and see what's going on in a business. And I'd really like to go home for, for lunch. So I'll pop home for lunch, have lunch with my partner. Um, and then I'll nip back in in the afternoon, just uh, see what's going on and, and, and you know, do a few things, send a few emails. And then I'm I, I'd like to be done by four o'clock because I like to go off and do, I can't remember what it was, kite surfing or something. And whilst I absolutely agreed that you should set your day up in that way, time-wise, if you don't want to do more, like design your life so you don't have to do mornings, that's fine. Um, yeah. But the bit that I had to correct him on was this kind of flitting, the, the, this attitude that he thought he would just drift in and out of the office and be reactive and see if anyone wants me, see what's going on. Actually, if you want to condense the time, if you want to be, to have all the kind of time to relax and do whatever you want to, 
in the work time, you need to be really focused. So yeah. the correction I gave him is if you want to do those times, actually what you do is you're going to arrive at 10 o'clock and you can have a structured focus meeting with your operations manager, followed by a review of your KPIs in all your different departments. And then you're going to have, you know, whatever's structured and planned for that next bit. Then you go home and have a lovely lunch with your wife as you plan to do so. And then you're going to come in and in the afternoon meetings, you're going to work on, you know, um, your team performance and your marketing and your this and your that and that's going to be really structured and you're going to know exactly what you're going to do and it's, of course he, he got it straight away and he realized that you, you if you want to condense time you can't go into a business and just be reactive and just go oh well I'll just drift in and see what happens you yeah know, absolutely that, that if, you can have a, if you can have that really robust business that you can be there half the time and half the time away you've absolutely got to be proactive haven't you yeah, so yeah. For, for somebody who's to, to be a half in the half and half club where you're working three and a half days a week. And oh, by the way, if you it, once you're in the half and half club, I'll send you a t shirt, Pam, when you get when you're in that place so you can get your well, half and half club t shirt. <laughs> so I'm having t shirts printed. Uh, but once you, you're in that place, um, the less that you work in the business, the more impact you're going to have on the business. So in that three and a half days, my intention is that the members of this community get more done than they did in the five or six and six and a half days that they worked beforehand. Um, by being really structured, planning, uh, and, and, and not getting caught up in the in, in the day-to-day -day firefighting and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's great that you want to do this. And especially because as coaches, we see so many business owners get their validation by it's almost like bragging how many hours they do when actually the really smart thing is not to have to do loads of hours mm -hmm. so with that why is this so important to you well do you know i'm a dad of two kids um and uh, eight and ten and and um I, i've always been pretty good around ha having boundaries and stuff but i've seen um other clients who like literally never picked up their kids from school not being on holiday and 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 this is one thing i'm not as good at is is not being present when you are present if that makes sense yeah it's so a huge thing isn't it hu yeah. hugging the children and looking at your phone over their backs and things like that <laughs> checking emails and things like that so that's something i definitely need to get better at um yeah. and i think that being present is massive isn't it because it is because the you're not present really at work and you're not it. present at home you just feel torn all the time yeah and they really pick up on it and and there's the but also as a parent of young kids like the weekend is taken up with ballet and football and all that kind of kids stuff and there's no adult time so yeah. actually for me to have uh, like friday off i could get to play golf or i could go kite surfing or i could exercise or go on a spa day take my wife out for lunch all those things that you can't do when you're at the weekend when it's family time as well and i yeah. think that's that for me is really fulfilling yeah it's massive uh, and to be yeah. able to do it knowing that everything in your business is good and, and 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 that you're feeling you're not worried about the reason people check emails all the time is because they haven't got a system in place for knowing exactly what's going on in their business and so in terms of of helping people within the half and half club get to that point one of the things that we'll be talking about a lot is how you measure stuff in the business so mm. it's about kpis measuring team performance marketing performance advertising performance so you don't have to feel like you're con trying to control stuff because you've literally got your finger on the pulse of your business and you can you know a glance at a spreadsheet or a report you know exactly how a team member's performing and whether they've done all the stuff they're supposed to have done and make that really condense that into into something really um that doesn't take up much time at all and it can, can be done when you're in a foreign country sat on the beach you could still log into that to that to that resource and you still know whether you know you, you, you your lads on site have handed all their timesheets in uh, and yeah, it's so about creating that that stuff so that when you are off you're not going oh i really ought to. you have that owner's owner's guilt of oh, i really ought to be in work and i you know i was oh you know things always go wrong when i look the other way and all that kind of stuff yeah and um, from what you're saying you're going to um guide and support people to actually 
have control of the business, but not having to control it, but by it being in control, but without yeah. them having to do the control. So they're going to have the information they need and you're going to set the systems up for them so that they can actually be away from the business and actually be able to enjoy the time away without worrying about it because they've put the things in place that need to be there. Yeah, and I think it's just about challenging the the thinking and the mindset of people. So I was talking to a client the other day and we were looking at all the stuff and, you know, a guy's got a growing business, doing okay, but spending a lot of time doing stuff. And we looked at individually at the different tasks. And one of the things he did, took him quite a long time, was checking that the um, price from the supplier that he'd negotiated was the price that they later invoiced for a month later. And he was the only person that really knew that. So it took up his time checking invoices off before he authorized them, before they got spent. But quite quickly, what we did is put in a system that, that got the, um, um, the, the price captured that he negotiated early. Then he can forget all about it. And then somebody else can then check to see if that, that is, that's still the price. And he would get a variation report on every job or every every week or every month. And, and all he need to do is just quickly glance around, look, look for a variation. Where's the difference? So instead of checking every invoice now, you just need to glance at a thing once a week. And with spreadsheets, as you know, being a tech genius that you are, Pam, um, <laughs> Thanks, um, <laughs> you can set up conditional formatting. So if a number is a minus number or something, it can go red. And then you're yeah. literally opening up a document looking for red. And if red means oh, I need to speak to someone because we've got a problem there. And if it's all green, then I'm all good. I can get back to what I'm doing. So it's just those little kind of, I call them micro systems that you put into a business, a way of just checking on stuff that doesn't take all of your time to do it. And, you know, the, the client that I was talking to, he said, I feel like I need to do this because if I don't feel like I do that, I feel like I'm out of control and things are happening without me knowing. So this yeah. is my way of getting control. Uh, and now we're working with him on ways that he can get control in a much more constructive and time focused way. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I guess when people are going to do a half and half club, they're going to absolutely have to streamline their, you know, get way more efficient and and also get good at letting go of stuff without actually abdicating it. So, yeah, absolutely. It, um, and it's, one, it's one of the things as well, it's not an overnight thing to, to be a to get to the half and half club because some businesses are actually going to have to grow and get bigger and more revenue so that they can afford the people and infrastructure to yeah. take on this stuff so that the owner can come out. Because in a small business, there's only two or three people and, and, it, and the business can only afford two or three people, then you, you, the owner has to come in and work and do that stuff. So part of the process of, of, of aiming towards that is that we also need to grow that business so that we need to get the revenue up to a certain level so they can afford to hire an operations manager or a general manager or a managing director or something like that. So one of the other stuff that we'll talk about in the Half and Half Club will be sales and marketing and how we get really, really good at bringing on new customers as well. So what's, so for somebody who decides, right, I'm going to do this, um, I suppose there's two things really. First of all, how do they get started on this journey with you you know of getting to the point where they can work three and a half days a week and really enjoy three and a half days off um um what's going to be the benefits when they're in, doing this because you've mentioned some examples but you know for people generally what will be the main benefits of doing this okay so the first part of that question is how to get started it's really easy you just go to the facebook group um, and you ask to join uh, the Facebook group is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash half and half club uh, or words, not, not, not fractions, half and half club um, and just apply to come on. And then when you come on, there's some stuff that we're going to send you straight away. Um, there's a there's a great little planning tool that I've got there that I'm going to ping out to you. And over five days, it will help the person to uh, like really understand where they're headed and what they want to get out of life. It's like a structured five day program, mini program. That's going to be the gift for anybody who comes on board straight away. They're going to get that. And then they're going to be in the community and I'm going to be talking. You probably tell I'm quite passionate about the subject, Pam. I'm going to be talking every day about 
how you can get more customers, how you can systemize the business and leverage yourself out of it, how you can make sure that you are on top of the measurements and the financials in the business so that revenue actually equals profit so that you're not, you are actually making money. I'm going to talk about all that stuff. But the one thing that they really I encourage people to do is come into that community and lean into it and join in the conversation. Don't just sit there and watch videos from me all the time. That's not what I want people to do. I want a discussion opened up. Ask me questions. Ask me, how do I do this? Congratulate each other. Like there'll be lots of different stages through that. So have you heard of Poets Day, Pam? Yes. Yes. So Poets Day, if you don't know, means piss off early tomorrow, Saturday, uh, which means you're going home Friday lunchtime. So there'll be like some people will get to their first Poets Day and they will. You know, I want everybody in the community to support and, 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 and celebrate with that person that they've gone. Do you know what? I finished at 12 o'clock on Friday. I took my wife out to lunch. We had a long, lovely lunch and we went and picked up the kids together today. What a brilliant Friday afternoon that was. I'd love for people to share that kind of experience. But then someone might go, well, how did you do that? Share your experience of that. Because I want it to be a community. I don't want just me be the only person talking in it. So when with this half and half club and they can sign up in the Facebook group, I take it that they can come in at any time they want. Um, to sign up and it's not like you start in cohorts at a certain time of the year or something it's just a club that's going to keep growing yeah all year so round. everyone's going to be in their own journey and because of, I'm giving everyone, yeah. yeah because i'm going to give everyone this free gift on the way in so they can get their plan together and they know where they're headed then it's going to be really easy for people to fall into sync and and yeah loads of people are going to be in different stages in their journey but that's brilliant because that's why you know I don't know everything about everything. So that's why the community is going to come together, help and support each other so that they can build these brilliant lives for each other. Because most people, I think, Pam, live their life by default, not design. Yeah, and exactly. Just like they, just, they just don't think about, you know, I spoke to a new client uh, uh, recently. And I said, what do you want to get from your life? And you'll know this from your experience. And then they go, God, no one's ever asked me that question before, including myself. So yeah, sometimes people just think, right, I'll see what my business ends up like, see what I end up with. And yeah. instead of thinking, right, this is how I want my life to be and how I want to show up in the world. So what does my business need to look like? So completely reverse engineering it and massively see the value of this half and half club. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I, I would really love it if loads of people come on board. It's completely free. There's no nothing to buy. There's they just come on board. Getting I love involved. your enthusiasm for this, Jeff. You're passionate about it. It's just absolutely infectious. I'm sure you're going to have an amazing engagement in yeah. that Facebook group as well and people supporting each other. What would you say to somebody who feels like, and, and like I can say this from personal experience in the past, if somebody has said you're going to work three and a half days a week, you know, like what would you say to somebody who that just feels like impossible and a million miles away right now? I think the coming, firstly, coming to the group, yeah. Um, because some of the things I'll be sharing, it's it, it just like, how can we just chip an hour? How can so we you get don't need to be hour? kind of at a certain point already, like the ready now, just get joined up and get yeah, going. Yeah, just, just come in and lean into that. Uh, I'm not expecting it, you know, actually to get from that person that you were describing to to be, a, do, to do this properly, it's going to take them several years. Yeah. It's not going to be like in your come and all of a sudden you've got Fridays off. They're going to have to structure their business, have to work on that. So we're going to start just and just start small, get your marketing a little bit better, working on defining your target market. You're going to do that this week. Who's your ideal customer? We're going to work on that this week. And next week, there'll be some content on, on you know, what's the best platforms to go to. So we're just going to do it bit by bit by bit over a period of time. So, yeah. And I guess you know, because right from day one, the advice that you're going to be sharing and giving them is going to be giving them improvements in the business and in the life that they wouldn't have had otherwise. So, you know, even getting started, even if they're not taking the time off, actually getting the business in a better place will start to have that positive impact, both on them and commercially. Yeah, and the more that someone leans into the community as well, the more their mindset will start to shift from yeah, being an employee of their own business and the business running you and life being like the crumbs left on the plate after the business <laughs> has had its bit. 
the shifting that mindset the more that you're in the community and sharing experiences because on certain days of the week actually we won't talk about business we'll talk about the stuff that you do instead of the business so we'll be talking about cool things that people have done in, you know, on a friday afternoon instead of instead of working and the more that you're in that environment the more it will help to help people to have that shift and go no i can if it is to be it's up to me and i can create my own um, um my own reality bit by bit but it's is i'm not offering quick fixes i'm not offering a miracle formula that you're going to apply it's a period it's going to take some time uh, um, if you lean into it and change the mindset do the work that needs to be done then, then then there's no reason why it won't happen yeah and like you say if they're taking those step-by-step -step actions then they're going to end up building a business that's really robust and sustainable and stable so that they can really enjoy this half and half club i'm loving the idea of it i think no, i think I better get in the facebook group <laughs> <laughs> well you know what? Techie, i'm being a workaholic <laughs> See, the thing is, you see, you can be a workaholic and be in the club because what you can do is you, you'll you learn to compact one business. And once you get to a half and half club, that's not the end of it, by the way. You can go to a two day or a one day. -er. So you can run <laughs> your business in one day by applying the same things over and over again to get down to running a business in one day a week. Or one day a month at that point, you know, really taking it taking it forward as the business matures and you've got a managing director and all that kind of thing. So you can have another business that you do on Tuesdays and another business that you do on Wednesdays. So, so you're going to transition people from that. Well, literally, you know, time for money. They've got a they've got a job rather than a business because they have to be in the business. Yeah. And eventually, going through the program that you're going to do, they're going to actually be working as a business owner where it's the value of the time, you know, and putting. Their time is really valuable to the business and not just time for money. You can see that massively. So if someone wants to be in the, in the community and they want to be oh, like a workaholic and they just like, they want all these things and, and setting out that at the start, when they come into the group, they get that program that they're going to do. And they'll understand where they're headed. Because some people might go, do you know what? You know, I, I, I'm, if I make a hundred grand a year and I really want to be with my grandkids play golf, ride horse, whatever the thing is. And, and if I've got time to do that, that's me fulfilled. I'm brilliant. That's awesome. I'd love to support that person on that journey. But then somebody else that says, no, I want to make, you know, I want to make a ding in the universe like Steve Jobs did. You know, <laughs> I want to make a difference. I want to, oh, I, would, I, I don't want a hundred grand a year is not good enough. I want to have all the stuff and the toys and the legacy and the investments and that. Well, you can do that too by applying the same principles. It sounds great. Sounds really good fun. And I think yeah. one thing I'd like to finish this off as well is, is that I want it, you know, I'm starting the community. I don't want to be the figurehead of it. And I feel that really strongly that I'm not one of these people that look, look at me. I'm so bloody brilliant. Look at all this stuff that I've done. You should just all be like me because I don't I don't associate with that. And I think it turns people cold. I'm not in the half and half club yet, Pam, because my business isn't where it needs to be yet because I've still got work to do on my sales and my marketing and stuff. So I'm on the journey too. The only reason I'm figured heading it is because I've spent loads of time, as you know, learning all this stuff and how to systemize business. And I teach it to my clients. But I'm not in the club yet either. So I, what I'm really loving about the whole idea is that it's a combined journey for everybody in the, in the community. Well, you're taking people on a journey with you. Exactly. Yeah. Rather than, you know, standing on the top of a hill, allegedly saying, look how brilliant. You know, get you me. Be up here. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody look at me. That's not it. I'm on the journey too. And I want to learn from the people in the community who, who they're going to come in with their ideas and their ways of, of, of their time hack savings. And they're going to come into it and go, oh, I found this new app on, you know, on the app store and it, it helps me track my time. It's brilliant. I want to know all that stuff too. So I want to learn as much from the community as anything else. So, oh, yeah, I'm really passionate about it. It's launching the start <laughs> of May. It. I love it. <laughs> it's launching. I absolutely love it. And I'm sure like when people get on board with this, that, that it's going to have such a massive impact on them and their lives. And just that whole, you know, we teach this as coaches, environment is so important. Mm. Surround yourself with like-minded people.
people that peer-to-peer -peer value. It's going to be huge in the Facebook group. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the group develops. And um, have you have you thought to yourself um, when you'd like to be a fully fledged half and half? Have you given yourself a, a time well, in I've mind? Got, when... I've got my business plan, so um, I. I and, my my business will be at the place where I get there. I think in about twenty four months. Excellent. In terms of oh, and why is it important to you to start it now, and why should somebody else start it now? What start the group now? Yeah, to get started with this journey now. What because, would be the consequences of not doing it for you? Uh, we've just come out of a global pandemic, or coming out of a global pandemic. Um, there's going to be a, a, a the reason I didn't do it a year ago is 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 the, the narrative of, oh, you could work less when people are thinking, I'm lucky just to have, have some, some sort of a living. Yeah. It just so didn't sit in right. Kind of survival, not thriving. <laughs> and I think it's important now that we come out of this, like, um, with the right mindset that we don't have to go, like, oh, I'm going to have to work all the hours now to do that and, and you know, save every penny on labour and stuff like that. I think it's the perfect time to do it. In some some industries are absolutely flying at the moment, so we need to. You can capitalise on that. Some it's more of a struggle, so there's 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 more support needed, and I met the community will provide both of those things. So for yeah. businesses that are struggling, come to the community because you get the support. If you if you if you're on file, I've got cli clients at the moment not interested in. They don't need to do any marketing for new customers. Yeah, what they need is to how how to attract really great talent. And how to manage their systems so that they can they can grow the business in you know without having a heart attack along the way because they've got so much business coming in, and, and both of those sides of things are going to get covered off. Yeah, I think and the, I think there's a massive um, thing with that, isn't it? Because whether you you've got a business that's done particularly well in the pandemic, you know, it's been an opportunity for a lot of businesses, or whether you're a business that's coming out of survival, you know, at the end of the day, both of those businesses need to look how they're going to recalibrate and go forward with the new environment we find ourselves mm. in. So I think, like you said, this is going to be a really great way to get that support and get the clarity of thinking. And, you know, the whole idea of having the half and half club is going to make people get the businesses running like clockwork and in a really great place, as well as being able to have that time off. Yeah, so that's the idea. I'm really excited for you. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. Yeah, so it's interesting that you um, uh, chose me to ask you about um, this, you know, when you said you wanted me to talk to you today because you've got this great new, new great idea. Um, the person who's probably, um, you know, like always working, I'm probably the person who most needs to join your half and half club. So as a coach, I, I always want to be congruent with what I teach my clients. So I'll, she'll head over to your Facebook group. Excellent. You can be a founding member. Yes, <laughs> there you go. I'll be the founding member of the Half and Half Club. <laughs> so, Pam, thank you very much for um, being my muse today. Uh, <laughs> Always a pleasure, Jeff. Never a chore. <laughs> much easier to have a conversation with someone than try and create something myself. Um, yeah, absolutely. To talk to myself yeah. because um, I'm, I'm I'm not completely crazy yet, so I don't talk to myself too much. I like to talk to people, so just <laughs> no, to sum and up, it's though, great to hear the passion in your voice and you're talking about it. It's just you know it, it, I'm really truly really excited for you, and I'm excited for the people who are going to join up with you because it will be life changing. So thank, yeah, you. thank you for inviting me along to. You're welcome. Talk about it today, I really appreciate it. So if anybody is listening to this and they think that that is their cup of tea, like to come in and try it. Like I said before, go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash half and half club. And that's half and a half club written out in letters and words, not not fractions. Um, or you can email me at Jeff Shrimpton at actioncoach.com and I will send you a link to um, to register. And I would love to have you in the community and hear your stories of first time you get to pick up the kids or your first poet's day and stuff like that. I'd love to, 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 to have those people on board. So um, looking forward to seeing you on there, Pam. Thanks very much. And I'll see you on the next episode of the uh, One Giant Leap podcast as well. Cheers. Thanks, Jeff. Have a fun time. Bye.